Hey, good morning. Happy January 20th. Thanks for joining me on this build up to the third week of Epiphany, where the psalm for our midweek psalm and for our prayer together is Psalm 62. It is a psalm from the 62nd chapter, and it has me thinking. In a moment, I'll read it for you, but this psalm has me thinking. When I moved into this office, which was uh, something that happened, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, more than five years ago, uh, over five years ago now, I moved in and there were various items in here. There were items that belonged to the church that had just found their way in here uh, that uh, I've since moved out. There were items from previous pastors, uh, notes, there were all sorts of things in here. And among them, of all the things I sorted through, I found this rock. And somebody had given this in my brain, I think it was to Pastor Cubbin. Uh, I, I imagine this being a gift to Pastor Cubbin. It's a rock with twine around it and with a note that says, You are my rock. And I'll tell you that every time I think of it, I remember life and I remember those that have gone before me. And I remember, more than anything, God's constancy. That God is my rock. And so when I see this, it gives me a moment to pause, to, to think about uh, Pastor Schaefer and Pastor Coven and all the people that have gone before me, and uh, more than anything to think of the constancy of God. And so that happens every time I see this rock. Since I've moved in here, somebody, I would assume, the same person that gifted this to Pastor Coven, made sure that I had one too. These rocks just keep popping up. You are my rock. And I loved uh, that this draws my attention to God and reminded me of Psalm 62 where it talks about God being uh, our rock. And I would like for you to hear in this a bit of encouragement. I'll say it like a challenge. I challenge you today in your home to uh, walk around and see a stone that was in the construction, a rock, to maybe take a walk around the block, to come across the rock, and to give pause to, yes, our lives are fleeting and changing and have so much going on, and there's all these things coming and going and moving and doing this, but God is a constant. God is our rock, and God's love for us is unfailing. And so the challenge is to see a rock and to see that as a call to take a moment and to praise God's ever-loving presence in your life. A reading from the 62nd Psalm. For God alone my soul waits in silence. For my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. My fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no confidence in extortion and set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. And steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord. For you repay to all according to their work. Let us pray. Gracious God, you have called and gathered us, your people. And we are strewn 
and thrown all over uh, the area, all over uh, chaotic lives and chaotic days. So we ask today that you would break into the midst of that and remind us that you are our rock. May we come across a rock or a stone somewhere in the building up of our homes or uh, on our path today and may you give us by your Holy Spirit a moment to take a breath and to lift a prayer of praise and to be reminded that while everything else just keeps changing and moving you never fail us your call and your spirit continue to fill and lead us and while everything else is weighed out in these great balances of life your love for us is everything you are our rock we pray today especially for all those on our prayer list and on our hearts and I would like to especially lift up the Camburn family I would like to lift up Nancy and as well I'd like to consider Dan and lift both of them up in our prayers that you would bring them peace that you would bring Dan moments of calm and the chance to be strengthened and built back up. He is in a place that maybe he didn't ever imagine or consider. None of us think about what may be, but you are, you are our rock and we hope that you would remind Dan that you are his too. Be with Nancy, be her rock and give her strength. Be with all of us Keep us through the night and bring us safely through this night and into another day together. Remind us at some moment today to just come across a moment to be thankful and filled with praise. You are our rock. We thank you and we ask that you would keep us in safety. We pray all of this in the name of your son Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, I hope taking a moment out proves to be relaxing and filled with peace. Remember to care for one another through contact, uh, mail, or phone calls. And remember to consider uh, those on our prayer list and uh, take the challenge seriously. I dare you to walk around the block and take a pause when you see a rock and just for a moment be thankful and lift your praise before God and be reminded that God is your rock. Stay safe. See you soon.